Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the Alcraft channel. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little pattern. It could be used for scarves or uh, shawls or whatever you want to make. Um, it's just a quick little pattern that just repeats. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button and let's get the party started. Hello everyone, to begin I'm going to be using a size J hook which is a 10, it's a 6 millimeter, and I'm using a medium weight yarn. You can use whatever size yarn or hook that you like as long as the hook is, uh, is appropriate for the yarn. And this pattern is made with multiples of 8 plus 2 at the end. So here I'm going to start just to do 3 repeats, so I'm going to need 24 chains plus 2 more. So I'm going to start with 26 chains. So here I'm just going to go ahead and make a little slip loop. Wrap it around like that and I'm going to do 26 chains. Remember to do the chain, you just get your hook, you yarn over, meaning you wrap your hook around your yarn and you go like that, okay? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to do the 26 chains and then we'll come back and start working on our foundation row. Okay, I finished my 26 chains. To do row one then, I'm going to do one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. This does not count as a chain, it's just a loop that's on the hook. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. So here's one, two, in the second chain I'm going to do a single crochet. To do a single crochet I'm just going to put my hook into the chain. Here's the top part and the bottom part. I'm going into the bottom part of the chain. Just grab my yarn, so you have two loops, and then you pull it through and that's your first single crochet. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and now I'm going to skip three chains. One, two, three. In the fourth chain, I'm going to do five double crochets. To do the double crochet, you yarn over, meaning you wrap your yarn over your hook. You go into that chain, and there's going to be three loops of yarn. You pull through the first two, and then the second two. So that is the double crochet. So that's my first one. I'm going to do four more. So here's one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to chain two, one, two. I'm going to skip three chains in the bottom. So here you got to be careful that this one doesn't get smashed. So here's one two, three. On the fourth chain, I'm going to do a single crochet. And I'm going to repeat this across. So here now I'm going to chain two, one, two, skip three chains, one, two, three. The fourth chain, I'm going to do five double crochets. So here's one, two, three, four and five. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, skip three chains, one, two, three. On the fourth chain I do my single crochet, chain two, skip three chains, one, two, three. On the fourth chain, one, two, three. On the fourth chain I'm going to do my five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. Chain two, skip three chains, oops, one, two, three, and the last chain of the row, I'm going to do my single crochet. Just like that. Okay, so this is our foundation row. So now I'm going to go up to my next row. To go up to my next row, I'm going to chain four. One, oops, got the wrong yarn there, the tail. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to turn my work over. And now this is counted as one double crochet plus a chain one. So now here what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to skip 
these next two chains, excuse me here, one, two, and in my first double crochet, I'm going to do one double crochet over that top of that double crochet. One double crochet, and now I'm going to chain two, one, two. I'm going to skip my next double crochet, and in the following double crochet, I'm going to do a double crochet. chain two and then double crochet back into that same stitch. Now I chain two, skip my next double crochet and in the last one I do my double crochet. Okay so this is what it looks like just like that. Okay just like that. So now here I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do the same thing because this chain one is counting kind of like the chain one that was here. So now I'm going to skip this area here and in my first double crochet, my next following double crochet, I'm going to do my double crochet in here. I'm going to chain two, skip the next double crochet and in this next double crochet I'm going to do double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same space. So here double crochet, chain two and double crochet back into the same space. Do the same thing, double crochet, skip the next double crochet stitch and go into the next stitch, double crochet. Just like that, I'm repeating the pattern one more time. Chain one into my next double crochet. I will go do my double crochet, chain two, skip the next double crochet, and the next one double crochet, chain two, double crochet. If you guys need to uh, watch it again, you can stop the video, rewind it, and then do it again. Watch it as many times as you need chain two, skip the next double crochet and in the last double crochet I'm going to do a double crochet, oops, double crochet. Now here at the end I chain one and then in the, let me see here, in my single crochet here I'm going to do my double crochet right there. Okay, so that is rows one and two. So I want you to see what it looks like. Now to go up to number three, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, turn my work over. These first three chains are counting as a double crochet. Now here in the first chain one space right here, I'm going to do two more double crochets. So yarn over, one double crochet, and two double crochets. Now here I'm going to chain two, one, two, and in the mid I'm going to skip this first chain two space in the middle section where your V stitch is at here into that space I'm going to do one single crochet. Now chain two, one, two, and now in the space, in our chain one space between our little patterns here, let me see if I can show you, see, you're going to skip this next double crochet and into this next chain one space, we're going to do our next um, five double crochets here. So here, in there, one, two, three, four and five just like that so that goes into that space there now here I'm going to chain two one two and now here once again into that V stitch here, chain one space, I'm going to do my single crochet.
Okay, now I'm going to chain two, one, two, once again into that space between our sets right here. I'm going to do my five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Chain two, two. And now here in my last Oh, where am I here? Oh, here. And this little stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet, chain two, and then here in this space, because this is the double crochet and chain one space, in here, I'm going to do three. Oops, I can't even read my own writing. So in this chain one space here, there's really no definition. I'm going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Sorry about that guys. So here now is what we have so far. Those one, two, and three. Now to go on to our next row, we chain four, one, two, three, and four. Turn our work over. This is counting as a double crochet plus a chain one space. So double crochet, chain one. And here, now, I'm going to um, do one double crochet in the first double crochet space here. So here, on here, I'm going to go in there, excuse me, to my first one, on top of the first one there. Double crochet, just like that. I'm going to chain two, one, two, skip the next double crochet, and then this double crochet. I want you to see what it looks like there. And here, we're going to do a double crochet. It's like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip this single crochet space. We're going to go to the top of the next double crochet here. If you want to know how many stitches is one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth stitch I guess it is five stitches that we skip. Four stitches. So here on the next double crochet we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two and then we're going to skip the next double crochet in the middle double crochet we're going to double crochet chain two double crochet so here's one double crochet chain two and then double crochet back into that same space okay now we double crochet excuse me to do two chains one to skip the next double crochet and in the next stitch double crochet again. We're repeating what we did here in our lower uh, row here, our row two. So here now that I've done my double crochet there, I'm going to chain two, oh, excuse me, chain one because I'm going to be just doing here skip to my next double crochet, skip all these stitches, go to the next one. All we're doing is repeating the same pattern as row number, uh, is that row number two? So there, chain two, skip the next double crochet, and in the next one, double crochet, two chains, double crochet. So here, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Now I chain two, skip the next double crochet, go into the next stitch. I guess you could just say skip the next stitch. And then here I'm going to go ahead and, and chain one. I'm going to skip this stuff here and then in the next double crochet there I'm going to do a double crochet One, 
one chain only and then double crochet over here one two three into that third chain which is a double crochet so we're mimicking what we did here let me see if I could go back and you could see better so that is so here's one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we only have one more. One, two, three, four. And what when what you're gonna be doing here, you just repeat the rows. So um excuse me, so here I would just go again to go up. I would excuse me. I would just repeat what I've done before. Oops, sorry. So here I have finished this row. Okay, I finished my row. Now to go up to my next row. If you count this first row as the foundation row, then the rows would be one, two, three. Then what I'm working on is the fifth row. But if we're counting this as uh, the first row, then it would be, uh, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five. If you don't count this as the found as a row, just a foundation, then this is one, two, three. Then we're working on four. So um, either way. Let's just say that this is the fifth row, so then you would just repeat rows one through uh, four, either way. You know, this is one, two, three, four. To go up to the next row, I'm gonna chain one. Oops, excuse me, I had a chain one there. Chain one, turn my work over. Now we want to repeat what we have here on the very first row, because we wanna start just repeating that whole row again. So here now then, I'm going to go ahead and then um, do uh, in the first um, uh, chain one space here, I'm going to do a single crochet. Just like that because we want to make it look like here. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then here in the space, in my next space here, we're before we get to the well, our next uh, chain one space. Here's a chain one space right there. And you could see it if you get kind of lost. It's where the little points are here. Okay, it's gonna be this. So right here in this chain one space, I'm going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just doing the same thing I did in my first row here. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then in my little v-stitch here, just like I did down here, the v-stitch I'm going to do a single crochet. I chain two, and then in my next space here, I skip the next chain two space and in the next chain one space I do my five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Now chain two again, one, two, and in my next put a little v-stitch in here I'm going to do my single crochet just like that see that pattern is just repeating it's the same as this bottom it's the same as that bottom pattern there now I'm going to chain two and in my next chain one space here which is this one I'm going to do my five double crochets one two, three, four, and five. 
Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and in my last little space here, I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. And this is the same as what we had in our very beginning row here. We have one, two, there we go. Just like that. Now, if you want to keep repeating it, then to repeat to go up, all you would do is do your, your four stitches just like we did here. And uh, we're going to repeat the pattern. So this is all you keep doing to repeat your patterns. So here you would just, the next one would just count as, um, as your, uh, your, you're going to be going back and doing this row, row two. And then you go back three, four, and then one, two, three, four. It just keeps repeating. And it's just like a nice lacy pattern. I know it's a little confusing. That's why you might have to play it slowly. But... Um, it makes a really pretty like prayer show pattern and once you get the hang of it, you're just repeating repeating um, Repeating your rows so you just keep going and you just repeat them again. So you just start back of here Repeat it again. So just this was a repeat of here So just repeat this one now then the next row and this one then you just repeat over and over again. That's the whole uh, pattern um, I'm sorry if the light is kind of bad in here. I don't know what it's a little bit too bright. Maybe I Don't know. It's kind of hard to tell because I'm losing the sunlight outside So anyway, this is just a quick video I try to film it all at once once and I know sometimes it gets confusing So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe Hit the like button and always remember that God loves you